So what is my thoughts about all these cutoffs that have been happening with the veteran Abrams? And yes, this one was one of the first to have a cutoff and that we was all sharing around on Instagram and Telegram and everywhere. What is my thoughts? Do I feel safe riding with it? And by the way, which mode do I recommend you to use? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. I will come back to the present after you hear me from the past telling you what was my thoughts about the Abrams before the new software update and do I still like it or not. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love UCs, PVs and everything that have a E of your electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the veteran Abrams and all these cutoffs that we've been seeing online. And yes, this was the first wheel that we could see having cutoffs online and also there is another one in in russia but i feel that maybe the problem between these two wheels are different i've been riding with this wheel without any problems but i'll let you know how really happens that cutoffs on that uh, group ride from e rides and by the way e rides thank you so much for letting me pick it up the abrams the commander high speed and the commander high torque that i've been using for the last weeks since that cutoffs happened obviously i talked with Amilo from e rides and we was talking what happened in that day how was the wheel, what was the battery that you have on that, or in this case, on this wheel. And this wheel was with around 80% of battery. We are talking a guy with basically 20 pounds. I'll put in kilos during this video. And uh, yeah, it's it was a massive, massive guy. The battery obviously was not low. And by the way, you have battery for ages. Even if I thought that you will drop the battery really, really fast on this one, is not really happening. But that will be for another video. But I think, that the big issue will be very, very easy to address. So what I found when you are trying to break with this wheel, it's not an easy wheel to break. And by the way, I will really recommend you to purchase, if you have this wheel or other wheels, I really recommend you to buy some Grisella pads because they allow me to use my braking pads, for example, as a curving pad. So for wheels so big as this one makes a lot of difference and they are very, very comfortable. I've done a review, so definitely check them out and you'll have 5% off if you want to purchase. So feel free to use it. When I was using this one and I was trying to brake hard with the Abrams, I felt that obviously you have soft, medium and hard mode. And I never thought that I will have to address this talk about the modes that you have on the wheel but they are there not only for comfort but also to adjust to the rider that is riding obviously here we have a very very heavy wheel here we have 29 kilos and here you have around 35 36 kilos if i'm not wrong in here if you try to ride with this in hard mode with my weight it's basically impossible uh, or basically you can use it but because the wheel is so heavy you need to push all your weight on the back to try to break. I use also my braking pads and curving pads to do that. If I kick on the side, I feel that is safer and is easier to break with this wheel. If you want to break and grab it from the front and push yourself on the back, it's definitely possible to do it. But if you choose the wrong mode to do it with the Abrams, it can be very, very dangerous. So if I was putting the hard mode for me, it's basically impossible because when you are braking with this wheel, you definitely need that the pedals, they drop a little bit on the back to allow you to push all your body on the back of the wheel to brake it faster. So when I was trying this wheel in hard mode, it was almost impossible for me to brake. In soft mode, I even didn't try and I'm not going to try definitely. But in medium mode, I really felt comfortable with this wheel. But when you are trying to brake it, you definitely see and you feel it that the wheel completely completely drops on the back and I'm showing you for sure some footage of me grabbing from the front and pushing the wheel and there is a lot a lot of movement so I believe that the bigger issue can be solved in software like they are saying that they are going to do because this wheel is just giving too much room to readjust on the back of the wheel and making those cutoffs like you've seen online. Even for more than I push hard this wheel, I never had those cutoffs. But that is related with my weight, in my opinion. If you are a heavy user like it happens on that group ride, in medium or in soft, I believe that you are going to have a cutoff on this wheel. So if you are a very big rider, you definitely need to ride this in hard mode, not in soft mode, definitely. And definitely also not in medium mode if you want to be safe but with my weight with 70 kilos for more than i tried i was not able to replicate a cutoff hopefully i'm happy for that because i don't want to hurt myself do i feel safe riding with this and obviously it's a concern that i always have in my mind will i feel safe riding with it or 
will I feel that is dangerous to ride? I don't know where to be. And this is not the full review, but for a while that I don't have another wheel that excites me besides the Emotion V12. And I love this wheel. It feels completely different. And if I had to put side by side, I feel like it's almost a complement of the other. But yeah, that will be for another video. So yeah, that was my thoughts in that time. And it seems that I was right, but how it rides the Abrams now that the new software update was finished. And I have to say to you guys that it's like a mix of sensations. I really love the Abrams. I really enjoy it. If you don't have seen, I have already covered the full review of this one. So feel free to check it out. The medium mode is essential for a lightweight as me. So if you have around 70, 75 kilos, definitely you can't ride with the Abrams in hard mode, okay? It's almost impossible. Obviously, when you go to a Commander or to, obviously, a Gotway wheel, it's more like a preference. If you want to feel the pedals a little bit harder, you can go to hard mode. If you want them to be a little bit more comfortable and feel a little bit of movement on your pedals, you go to something a little bit softer. But when you go to an Abrams, it's, it's a different game. So if you are a heavy user, I'll definitely recommend you to go to hard mode and how why is so important that hard mode. And we talked also previously, I believe, as a lightweight as me, you need to go to medium mode. But since he rides have done the update of the software on the Abrams, it's a different ride. So basically, when you start to accelerate, the pedals they drop a little bit more in front in that way you are a little bit more further away from the braking experience and basically before the update when you was trying to brake with the Abrams you could see on the video for sure I'm showing you that the pedals they was dipping like hell on the back and that sensation is gone obviously all the rest all the the riding experience continue to be very, very similar. But for lightweight riders like me, it becomes a little bit harder to brake. And by the way, also thank you to E-Rides to give me the opportunity to test them out. 5% off also there. And if you are in the United States or, you, or in Europe, you also have some discount codes there. So feel free to use them. Now it's harder for me to brake. So you need a wheel very responsive to brake in the middle of the city, a lot of traffic going around. Maybe the Abrams is definitely Definitely not for you. I definitely miss the older version for my weight, but I understand that the move is to make us all safer if you want. Because of that, I think it was a right move from veteran. I really miss that little bit of movement on the back when you are trying to brake. To accelerate, it's really cool because even when you try to accelerate, it becomes easier to accelerate with this new update. But when you try to brake, <laughs> it's a bit harder. For that, you need to drop a little bit your tire so you have a little bit more grip on the floor and it's also easier to brake with your wheels. I'm going to cover that really soon in some videos that I'm going to do about the Commanders because definitely that's something that you really want to do. And one of these two wheels are simply garbage. If you want to know a little bit more about that, stay tuned for the next videos. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.